Hey, how you all doing today? I hope you guys are having a nice start to your week and uh, that you guys are healthy and, and peaceful. Uh, today's uh, talk will be about the um, protests that have emerged at the local and state level um, against uh, the state government mandated shutdowns. So, um, we talked about in a couple prior lectures how governors, the power that governors have right now is, 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 uh, fairly unprecedented. Um, and I should point out that two thirds of the American public in a recent poll, um, as of a couple days ago, still support the um, government shutdowns. Um, two thirds of the American public still says that um, public health should still be our number one concern and that the threat posed by, by reopening the economy too soon um, is, is, the, is very worrisome, right? So I had to put that out there first. However, a much smaller um, group of Americans, um, maybe 25 to 30 percent of the country, and they've been growing, right, have become very outspoken about these uh, government shutdowns, um, in, particularly in states like Michigan, which has some of the most, um, you could use the term, repressive um, mandates in place, um, New York, um, Minnesota, Virginia, uh, even in Denver, in Colorado, uh, you know, there was a protest actually just, uh, two days ago, uh, in Denver dealing with, uh, the shutdowns. And this group, these group of people mostly are kind of either self-identifying as uh, right-wing libertarians, right? That's the term that they're preferring to call themselves, or they're um, disgruntled Republicans, right? And these groups of people are making, uh, these protesters are making two central arguments one that they're saying that the economic impact on working people, uh, think people from more blue collar positions, have been severely uh, hard hit and that the um, consequences from shutting down the economy and forcing small businesses and other, other companies to shut down that consequence is far worse than what we're seeing with COVID-19, the health of impact. They're arguing that, you know, basically our escalating unemployment rate, which now sits, I think we're close to 15 to 17% unemployment now. And last I checked, we're, there's over 22 million people now who have lost their jobs in just the last month. And these protesters point to those figures and they're saying it's having the, the, the consequences of, of severely um, uh, uh, hurting our economic health. And that governors, according to them, particularly the liberal governors, are uh, overstepping their bounds greatly in affecting the economy and people's everyday work lives. The second argument that these protesters are making besides the economic part, is that government at its core has no right at all to tell the people uh, if they are allowed to gather in groups or not, and if they have to shut down their businesses or not. In other words, a lot of this is about, um, in their perception, government tyranny, that the um, state governors have been acting as tyrants in overriding uh, the U.S. Constitution, 
Um, of course, um, you know, critics of these protesters have, have countered and said, well, okay, you know, two things. One, these, if we don't act now in stopping this disease and we open the economy too soon, we're going to end up with a second wave of COVID-19, maybe a third wave that takes us into September or October, you know, or further, God forbid. And that inevitably, if we open the economy too soon, we're going to end up having to lock ourselves down again. And we might as well just put up with the, 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 the pain right now of not being able to have our businesses open, follow through the policies health experts are saying, and hopefully by June, we, we can be on our way back to fully functioning. The second thing that they say, many critics of these protests would say, is that the uh, is that it's not a consistent message. If you're going to say that the governors are tyrannical and are acting in a tyrannical fashion, one also has to then hold Donald Trump into account and say that the Trump administration, had they reacted soon enough to this crisis when it began, which the Trump administration, this is not meant as a partisan comment, guys. The Trump administration did exactly next to nothing in the very beginning of this crisis. We're talking back in February, even as far back in January, when the administration started getting their first warnings. If they had acted sooner, there would have been no need for the governors to even have to act at all. Right. So that's the those are the arguments made by the protesters and the arguments made on the other side, right? So uh, these protests have been garnering steam um, and uh, it seems likely that these local and state protests are gonna force the governor's hands in many states. So we already see in Colorado that Governor Paulus is having to uh, re-examine the amount of time he wants to take in reopening the economy. So he's already made an announcement that phase one of reopening the Colorado economy is going to start in the next week and a half, right, to two weeks. And we're going to do it very slowly. Um, you know, other places like Georgia, oh man, in the South, right, they've responded to these protests. Many Southern governors have already been opposed to these shutdowns all along. Georgia governor just announced that the state is going to begin opening the entire economy almost immediately. Um, Kentucky seems likely to follow suit. Tennessee has followed suit. Even a uh, even uh, the governor, the liberal governor in North Carolina, Roy, Roy Cooper, has announced, and that's where I was living before this, right? North Carolina's governor announced that they're going to start rapidly opening the economy back up as well, right? So many, many states and more kind of like Republican dominated areas are going to be um, using these protests to be able to quickly reopen the economy, while even the liberal governors are going to be under pressure to begin a phased opening of the economies, right? So I'm just kind of curious where you guys come down on. Um, you know, you really can see both sides of this, right? One side is worried about tyranny. The state governors have overstepped their bounds. And the economic impact uh, being a devastating feature for this country. And the other side is saying, whoa, hold on a second. Like, we're facing a major public health crisis that the state governors were forced into because of a lack of action from the federal government, specifically the Trump administration. So I'm just curious what you guys think about this. This is obviously filled with highly, quote, partisan, um, you know, rhetoric on both sides. Um, and, you know, we'll, I'll get you guys another lecture in the next couple of days. Take care.